All right, time for the April State of My Galaxy. And there was actually a lot that happened this month. Well, March, you know, in March. First off, by far the absolute hugest thing that's happened for everybody is uh, CG finally updated Mace. <laughs> So he's not so worthless anymore. Unfortunately, I haven't really been able to test him out, so I can't say how much better he is, but obviously he's a lot better now. He has, you know, before he only had two move, how do I explain this? Two damage type moves. Now he's got the three. He's got this party's over. He's got um, sense weakness has been added. I think his leader ability is a smidge better than it used to be. Vapad was the leader. Now it's just a unique that, you know, does all this crap. <laughs> um, yeah. And he went from four moves, no Zetas, to six moves, three Zetas, and an Omicron. He got a massive boost overall, and it was cool. Like I said, I haven't used him yet because he's not relic Obviously, I've never had a reason to relic him before because he just sucked. Why would I waste my time? That's like relicking. Like, why would I want to do that for? He's worthless, too. Maybe if I was, like, you know, a whale and had everybody else relic, then, then you'd do it just for, like, the memes or whatever. But not when you're struggling to just get through with the characters you need to work on. But anyways, now that he's beefed up, I might want to relic him because he could probably work well with a, um, a Padme-led team. I could pro possibly use him instead of General Kenobi, and it might actually be, be a better option. It's just for now being Gear 12... He's not quite worth it, but yeah. So that's one thing that was huge. Second thing on a personal note for me is I unlocked C. I mean, C kind of sucks, or at least from what I've seen. I don't know. I go up against him in squad arena, and I easily take him out with my Kylo all the time. But then I see some that say C is actually really good, and he basically can get through every other team except Kylo. So I'm like, I don't know how to feel about this then. <laughs> Well, maybe not every other team, just the, the first four GLs. But, um, yeah, so I got C, as you see, he's gear 12. Um, actually, I just got him to gear 12 today. Today's April 2nd, so I'm actually a smidge behind on when I'm supposed to be getting this done. But still, um, I don't have the ultimate, so there's going to be a journey to get to that as well. But I'm pretty sure I need to have him at least relic and all that to even try to compete to unlock the relic. So, that's where I'm at. For the most part, this is pretty close anyways. I only need six of those. Boom, he has that piece. And then these look pathetic. Well, okay, so that one's kind of not so good. But this one, I only need five. And then I'm almost there. This, I have almost everything. I just need this. Yeah, that'll take forever. But, you know, it's like, he's, he's kind of there. It's not like I'm straight up f farming. And this stuff, I put down, I just come to gear 12 today. And these two pieces were ready to go already. Right out the gate. Whoops. So, that was cool. And then I just got that nonsense to do. Um, yeah, now moving on to, um, I guess a normal version of how I do my State of the Galaxies. So, as you see, I have a ton of characters <laughs> that are favorited. Well, this is for a couple reasons. One, some of them, actually, no, all of those that were first C are out of here, but now I got C up here instead. But two, some of these are just characters that were close, and I figured might as well relic them, such as Geonosian Soldier. He was super close, so I just did it. Well, why make him sit there at gear 12 and 5, 6? You know? Or R2. He's kind of in that same boat. Or 5s. So, yeah. But then there's also a bunch of characters up here that are needed for Jedi Knight Luke, which I'm actually getting pretty close to. I possibly could already participate in it, but I'm just gonna wait. I have C that I'm working on. Um... I gotta get him beefed up. I'm not worried about trying to unlock another character, but fundamentally, I should be good to go. Recommended power, 24,000. Um, Wampa is at almost 29. Here, 31.5. He's at 32, slightly over. And they recommend Relic 5, so I've gotten all these guys to Relic 5. Over here, uh, 25.4. Everybody's past that, so... I, I, this, I don't understand. My capital ship isn't at that somehow, but whatever. Not too worried about it. Um, Right here, recommended power 29,000. Okay, Luke is way over that. And then you have Hermit Yoda. He's not quite there. I don't know why he is Relic 5, and his mods are all 6 dots, so... <laughs> 
other than putting them to Relic 6, I don't know what else I can do. And I'm not going to work on putting them to Relic 6 because that kind of seems pointless. He doesn't even have any attacks, you know what I mean? Like, he's probably going to be stealthed the whole time. So the only one that really matters that he's beefed up is Luke. Then going here, um, it wants 25-7. 3PO and Chewie are there. Leia's not, but she is Relic 5, and she's super close to... I mean, not super close. I gotta work on her mod still and get those to 6 dots. So I'm hoping that... Well, not hoping. I'm pretty sure that doing that will get her where she needs to be. It's 25-7. She only needs to gain, what, 38 power? I'm sure one mod increase is, like, what, 42? So that'll put her right where she needs to be. Lando... The only challenge with Lando is he doesn't have any Zetas. So I think think he's not going to really hit that power unless I go way over the top like bring him to relic six or seven otherwise I don't think he's going to be able to hit that power because he doesn't have zetas and zetas are like a cheating way to boost your power because he is relic four right now pretty close to relic five and he's only sitting at 21 nine now yeah I got to work on his mods as well but like it's not going to throw him over the top so <laughs> but regardless I'm sure I'm fine anyways Relic 4, they say requirements are Relic 3, recommended is Relic 5. So I'm right in the middle at Relic 4 and almost 5. <laughs> Anyways, moving on right here. My power is not quite where it needs to be. Not sure what that's going to do for me. Recommended level, Relic 5, mods ready, 6, and Zetas. I have all that nonsense on him. So for some reason, his power is not there, but I have all those requirements. So I'm sure I'd be fine. I hope I'd be fine. Then again, it is this game we're talking about. And then anyways, this one, 33,000 power. I'm 35,000. I mean, Vader's Relic 7. He's got his mods up. Not only are they sixed up, but I got some that are like purple gold. You know, they're beefed up on top of that. So I'm pretty sure I could get into unlocking them now, but I'm just going to focus on... Come on. I'm just going to focus on getting all these characters officially finished off. So actually, before I get into that, a lot of these guys have gotten boosted up nice and quickly, like Captain On Solo and Rebel um, Leia Organa, because earlier this month, uh, or not this month, it's April now, but early in March, we had um, double drops on, I think it was practically everything. So when I was farming for the pieces to upgrade their relic levels, that was uh, working out pretty well for me. Because I was getting massive drops, so like I was just flying through, increasing their relics. I think it took me like a day, <laughs> maybe two, to get Han Captain Han from Gear 12 to Relic 5. Like, for a free-to-play player, that is super fast. <laughs> and then Leia was almost the same. I think she was a smidge longer because the event ended when she was like Relic 4. But still, she flew right to Relic 4. So that was pretty cool. So anyways, moving on, as you see, um, I got all those guys, is, did anybody get added that's not really beef, uh, be, being worked on per se? Well, I guess I added IG-88 and TIE Fighter Pilot, they're newly added as favorites, the reason for this is because I noticed something, oh, I gotta go back to this thing. I noticed that I was actually pretty close to the requirements on unlocking this ship, so I figured might as well go all out. I didn't realize I had <laughs> met most of these. So I'm like, Imperial Type Pilot, that's easy. Relic 5. IG-88, Relic 5, easy enough. Dangar, Relic 5, easy enough. I mean, Piet and Boba are going to be two pains in the butt to be Relic 8, but I'm like, at the end of the day, Piet is already Relic 5, so there's progress there. Just gotta get him to eight, and then there's Boba, who's well, still geared. No, he is he is relic now. He's relic one, <laughs> but yeah, I just saw this and I was like, well, what the heck? I'm actually pretty close. Might as well just go all out. So that's kind of what I'm doing too. So I'll, in the past while, I've been working on three um journey event type characters: C and Jedi Knight Luke. And now, what is it, Exagator? What is that ship called? I don't know, Piet's ship. So yeah, I've been busy. That's why I got so many favorite characters. After I'm done with this, though, you know, once I have, well, at least once I have Luke, um, I don't know what my, I, I think my, so my original plan was to start working on Jedi Master Luke next, 
Um, but like to grind for all these relics and characters you gotta beef up and stuff, it's it's too much. <laughs> Like, I just went through all this with C, going for, like, a year, just farming characters to meet... Well, not farming, but, you know, focusing on certain characters just to meet their requirements. And it's just, I don't know, it's intensive. And it's almost unfun. You know, like, CG is telling you who to work on, and that's not necessarily who I actually do want to work on. So what I might do is kind of just not take a break, but, you know, take a focus on things I want to work on in between instead. One thing I was thinking is maybe I'll start focusing on relicking a bunch of these characters that I have beefed up at 4 to 5 now instead. Relic 4 is where I used to stop because when there was 7 relics, 4 was more than halfway. Plus, um... Relic 5 is a little bit harder to achieve than Relic 4. Like, Relic 4 is where the easy part of the relics ends. And it's a little more of a grind for Relic 5. So I always saw it as good enough. But now that there's technically 9 relics, Relic 4 is not halfway anymore. Relic 5 would be. And the thing is, um, Relic 5 is um, the minimum requirements for the challenge pit. So I'm like, the more Relic 5 characters I have the more I, viable I can be in the challenge pit. I mean, granted, I don't know the strategies. There's people in my guild that are putting up 20 million, and I, I get about two and a half. But still, more characters just means more damage that I can do, more, you know what I mean? So I might start doing that. Another one I've been thinking about is Grievous. He is Relic 5, but I'm like, he works based on his health. The more health he has, the more damage he has. So I'm like, maybe I should just get him to Relic 7. Then he has more... I mean, look what would happen if I did. It says his boost in health would go... Well, it's not too much, but still, it's a little bit more. Even his damage output would increase. So I'm like, that's kind of like double time. You know, more health means more damage. Plus, if his damage is higher, then... It just makes him way more viable. So I'm like, I might as well beef up him more. Um, I've been thinking about beefing up Kenobi more. I mean, he's one of those guys that are just sitting at Relic 4, like I was talking about going to Relic 5. But I've been thinking about it just because he has the ship. And i that's the ship I use, Negotiator. I don't use anything else. <laughs> so I'm like, it only makes sense to make him stronger so the ship is better. Um. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I think I'm gonna... I might do that. I don't know. Then there's also the characters that aren't even relic yet that I would like to relic. Like like I said in the beginning, Mace Window. I would like to beef him up. Um, I also want to beef up... I kind of want to beef up the dog, T3M4. The only reason for this is because I actually like his Omicron. And I'm actually super close. I have 19. I didn't realize that. But the thing with his Omicron is... He'd be kind of useless if I put it on him while he's gear 12. He needs to be Relic. So, that's kind of why I want to beef up him. Um, Who else do I want to kind of beef up? Um, Qui-Gon. I feel like Qui-Gon could be worth it, especially with his Omicron. I've been wanting to beef up my Phoenix squad forever, too. I know Phoenix is random, but the reason I want to beef up my Phoenix squad... Is because there's one of those, what do they call them? Uh, places of power, I think the event is called. And the options are Phoenix or Night Sister. Well, I never worked on my Night Sisters, so they're off the table. But I have worked on my Phoenix, just only up to gear 12. I mean, at one point, gear 12 was the max. Granted, relics have been around for, what, a year and a half, two years now? But prior to that, Gear 12 was maxed. So basically, I had this team maxed. And, um, yeah, well, now they're not so maxed anymore. And, like, I can't get very far in that dang event. I can do up to the bonus tier. And even then, I struggle. <laughs> I can only two-star it. So, like, I want to be able to three-star that so that way then I can sim it. And then also do, like, at least challenge tier one. So I'm like, it would be nice to relic these guys up. Additionally... They ha they're they all part of a ship. There's two ships that encompass all six of these guys. So the beefier they are, the beefier the ships are, which only helps out. Granted, I don't use them in squad arena, but it could help out in grand arena or something. 
Um, I know I don't do Grand Arena, but still, I did set up the stupid auto defenses, def however, defense, defenses, defenses, auto defenses. So, you know, there's the potential that at least if their ships are beefier, that it might help me somehow on the stupid ship wall. But I also, I'm just really just interested, like I said, for that event to be able to do better in it. I mean, there's also the option that I could just work on my Night Sisters. I'm sure they could breeze through it, but there's a lot of work. I've only ever worked on three of them. So I would have to most likely be Old Daka and Mother Talzin. But then you'd want Zombie as well, so I'd have to trade out Initiate for Zombie. It, it just seems like it's more work. But anyways, that's another one I'd want to work on. Another team I'd want to work on, I don't know why I dipped out of this all the way, I shouldn't have, is the Jawas. I know, that might sound goofy, like Jawas, who cares about Jawas? They don't have Zetas, they don't anything, they're kind of a worthless squad. But no, they're actually not. They are fantastic against Geos. <laughs> Ridiculously fantastic against Geos because of the thermal detonator pileups that they can do. My problem is, again, is if I go up against a Geo team that the relic level is too high. Like, I can take low relics. Say I go up against a team that has, like, two relic characters and the other three aren't or something like that. Usually I can be okay and my guys will win. Yeah, I'll be down to like two Jawas left, but still, we win. But if they're all relic, I can't do it. So I'm thinking, well, if I relic these guys up, I stand a better chance against the Geos. <laughs> you know, if I go in with a team of relic five Jawas, it's it's a goofy squad, but hey, Geos, bye, Geos. <laughs> so that's something I want to work on. Um, What else? So yeah, anyways, that's all I'm trying to get at. There's a lot of things I just want to work on, and I don't know if I'm going to stick with going towards, you know, going down that path of Jedi Master Luke. I mean, I do want to, so I, I don't know. I might try to, like, sneak them in together, do some for the Master Luke requirements. Like, normally, like, when I was working on C, I was just fully focusing on the C requirements only. Everything that was up here that was favorited was all C. Even now, look at everything. Mostly everything I have up here is for Jedi Knight Luke and for that ship. So maybe I'll have some sprinklings. I'll have some that are for Jedi Master Luke and then some for fun. Maybe a couple Jawas and a couple Jedi Knight Lukes. I mean, Master Lukes. And just see what happens. I don't know. I mean, really quick, we keep talking about Master Luke. Anyways, what does he, what does he need? requirements okay apparently i have four of them so old ben all right i have old ben up there already so see some of these might accidentally just happen anyways old ben's up there 3po and chewy he's actually someone i have wanted to work on so that could actually work out for me i'll ac i'll accidentally get another requirement met um jedi knight luke obviously he'd go to relic seven he's good he's worth it so when i do unlock him he's just gonna go there so again another accidental one so to speak Chewie and Han, okay, so I didn't have any plans to get them to Relic 6, Relic 5 was good enough for me, but hey, Chewie, it's one more Relic, whatever. So, Lando, he'll be Relic 5 pretty soon, so see, another one that'll be accidentally met, so, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could kind of focus on him, like, because I wouldn't really be focusing on him, you know what I mean, it's just accidentally happening. I just listed, what, four, four editions? <laughs> that would put me at eight, I'd be halfway there, without even trying. The only one I don't care about is her. As you can see, I have one out of 14 <laughs> pre wack assets. And why? Because I don't care about resistance. They suck. They're stupid in the movie. Like, they just make no sense. They're just a, a crew that kind of just accidentally came together. You know, are you part of the resistance? Remember when Ray met Paul, uh, Finn and he says, yeah. But there was no backstory on the resistance or anything. And then all of a sudden, now they're both part of resistance. Ray was just a person. Oh, I'm part of resistance now. And then apparently um, Han and Chewie show up. Now they're part of resistance. And it's like, what is this? But not only that, they just suck in the game. Most of these resistance characters are stupid. Like, um, Haldo. Don't care about her. I don't want to beef her up. I don't even have her stupid ship. <laughs> the Radis? I don't even have it. It says upgrade to five stars. I don't even have the stupid ship yet. That's how little I care. <laughs> Or, like, Rose Tico. Wow, she's good. I really want to beef her up to Relic 5. I just don't care about these worthless characters. So. I mean, I don't want to waste time on this. This is supposed to be a state of my galaxy. I'm over here dicking around. But, ooh, Mace. Yeah, 
I just want to see what the prerequisite things were for him, because he's good, and I know a lot of people are pumped when they unlock him. Ah, Watt Tambor. See, that's a, that's a hold up for me. I only have him at six star. I I'll happily upgrade him once I get him to seven star. But I gotta get him there first. Hey, Grievous, that's funny. I was just talking about. I want to put him to relic seven just for fun. So see, I'll be accidentally working on Master Kenobi as well. Grandmaster Yoda relic eight. <laughs> There's a lot of relic seven requirements here. Relic 8. Oh, there it is. General Kenobi. I was going to say, I thought there was two that were needed to be Relic 8. There was. And then you got this motherfucker. Him. He's kind of cool, but from what I understand, from what I hear, he kind of sucks. I don't know. I mean, when I go up against him, I can't touch him, but from, like, Arnold 2101 and stuff, he says he sucks. He's constantly hating on him. What do we, what's he call him? Lord Sucker or something stupid? Suck Vader? I don't know. But one thing I don't like is there's so many Relic 8 requirements. Padme, Relic 8, Dooku. Dooku? God, Dooku sucks. I would never want to Relic 8 him. I didn't want to Relic 5 him for C. Never mind Relic 8 him. Arc Trooper, General Skywalker. Anyways, I'm dicking around here. This is not this is not the video that I'm trying to make. So anyways, back to the State of the Galaxy. <sighs> yeah, so... <clears throat> I did say Watt Tambor is Relic uh, 6 star. Not Relic. <laughs> He's 6 star. That actually happened this month. He was 5 star. We had the territory battles. Um, What is it? Dar the, the dark side one, right? Yeah, that's the easier one. Dark side territory battles. And my guild was able to get enough shards, so I was able to get him up to 6 star. So yeah, now it's on the journey to 7 star. <laughs> Actually, I want to go back to C for a minute. So C sucks in Squad Arena. Like I said, I'm always able to easily take him out. I mean, let me see if there's something in here just so I can show it. I'm always able to easily take him out in Squad Arena. But um, I noticed in Dark Side Territory Battles, at the time, he was only gear 9, I think. And I put him in on a squad. Well, this is stupid, but whatever. <laughs> I put him in on a squad, and he breezed right through it. I didn't lose anybody. Nobody lost any health or protection. I was like, hold on a minute. How How is he so good? He sucks when I use him in, uh, well, not use him, when I go up against him in squad arena. But yeah, here he is tearing it up. It threw me off. <laughs> the, um, Yeah, it, what was even worse was because um, Supreme Leader Kylo was easily wrecked when I used him. I used him, like, in the lower territories, and then I used C in the upper territories, and Supreme Leader Kylo was wrecked, and, and I was just like, what? How did C do so good? Supreme Leader Kylo is sitting here at Relic 7 with his ultimate, and I got C at Relic, I mean, at Gear 9 <laughs> with no ultimate, and he's doing so much better, so I'm confused on what to think about C. He's terrible for Squad Arena, but he seems to be good for, like, events or whatever. Like, offensively, let's say. Man, this C has taken forever. It's kind of defeating my whole theory about how easy he is. He had one character with him, and I'm struggling over here. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty cool, though. So that's something to keep in mind for myself on the next, next times that we do this. Uh, but anyways... <sighs> um, something else that happened, which we kind of saw it already, but I didn't address it, I ignored it on purpose, <laughs> was I got Hera's, um, Omicron on her. This is for Territory Wars. I hate Territory Wars, but I figured this is a decent enough Omicron, so I laid it down on her. As far as the next one, as we saw, I'm at 19 out of 20. I don't know who I'm gonna do. I might do the dog... But, I don't know, because he's only gear 12, so... I've been thinking about Sidious's. I do kind of throw Sidious in <laughs> now that I have C. I use him with C, because I figure, well, <laughs> he does have, uh... Um, he is Relic 7, so... What is this for? Territory Wars. Jeez. If all allies are Sith, that's what about all other Sith allies. I don't know. It just it seemed like it could be halfway decent. So, I don't know. 
that's something else I forgot to mention too. There was the title. There was the update that we recently had. The what is it? Not Road Ahead. The um, is it Road Ahead? Maybe. So now, there's a slight change to how the 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 little icons look, and also if they don't have their Omicron, it still says they have their Zeta. Before it used to block it out, and it would not show a Zeta. <laughs> Like, look, Mace has his three Zetas showing. He doesn't have his Omicron, but he's got his three Zetas showing. Before, it would have said he had two Zetas. And then that's what they do with Omicron. There's an Omicron logo now, which is pretty cool. Wait, I Omicron... I Omicron Zam? I knew I meant to do that. I didn't know I actually did do it. <laughs> which which move has your Omicron? Oh, that's cool. I don't remember doing that. See, that's because they didn't have the stupid logos, so I couldn't remember. This might have been last month, actually, when and I thought I didn't Omicron anybody, but I did. I did Zam. Whoops. How many do I have so far? I think I only have four, right? Uh, do I only have three? I don't even remember now. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I don't know. Who's the other ones? You got Zam? Did I only put it on characters that are gear 12? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, another thing that happened in this past month is... um, Well, we've had a ton of those Inquisitorious characters come in. Jeez, this guy's super close. Dark Trooper? Can we just get him the 7th star right here, right now? <laughs> come on, give me one shard. Yes. <laughs> All right. So also this month, I happened to get um Dark Trooper to seven star. <laughs> he's been worked on slowly forever, and now he's finally there. <laughs> Even though you just saw it, <laughs> that's cool that that worked out. They never give you drops. I figured I wasn't gonna get anything. They actually gave me two shards. That's because the double drops. But anyways, like I was saying, the Inquisitorious characters. So um. Where are they? Second sister, maybe? Ninth sister? I don't know. Probably eighth. I know we got eighth brother this month. And um, didn't we get two? We got eighth brother and seventh sister, right? Yeah, 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 I think. And the ninth sister and second sister were the first batch. Yeah. So we got those characters this month. I've actually been secretly, I don't want to say secretly, but, you know, kind of behind the scenes working on getting cat unlocked. So, this is a journey and a half, but I'm trying. I'm at 183 out of 330, so we're getting there, I guess. I don't really know why I chose Cat. I prefer dark side characters, so you'd think I'd be working on Maul, but for some reason I chose Cat. I don't know. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I thought there was one more thing to know. I thought about it when I was rambling on about something earlier, but I kind of forgot now. Um... Let me just browse through here. Maybe it'll hit me again. I don't know. It's probably not going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, anything happen in ships? I don't. I don't think so. I guess it doesn't hurt to look though, right? Hmm. Actually, I think something did happen in ships. I'm remembering now. I upgraded a ship's moves. Actually, maybe that's what it is. We got the... Um, where the heck is it? Thai Echelon. I think that was this month, right? And I just figured I'd work on it. I have um, First Order Officer sitting at Relic 5. Plus, I hear this is a pretty decent tank. So I was like, well, it's not going to hurt. Whatever. I'll, I'll work on it. Um, actually, and then there's those ships. Anyways, actually, I think, um, I think I got one of those Millennium Falcons up to seven stars as well. I just can't remember which one it was. Of, was it Ray's? Ray's Millennium Falcon? Was this not at seven stars? It might be this one. I don't think this was seven star before, and now it is. I I've been trying to work on um 
well, I was before I started having to work on all these other characters for requirements for, you know, GLs and stuff, but I was trying to work on this, too, all of them. Um, Lando, the ship, and his droid, but that's kind of on hold for now, I suppose. Anyways, I guess I don't have anything else at this time. There, There is one more thing, but I can't remember. It was in here when I was rambling about something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's about all. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, actually, I could point out. I completely, com wow, completely remodded Anakin. Not like we really knew what he was before, but I gave him, I guess I gave him tenacity. I thought I gave him health. I don't know. But I super remodded him. We can see what his old mods were just by doing this. That's all his old mods right there. All those top ones. I haven't found anybody to put them on. So before I had stupid mods on them, I had defense, tenacity, and... Wait a minute, what? These don't even line up. So I had two defense, three tenacity, and one potency? That's stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> well, anyways, that's the nonsense I had on him. And when I was trying to unlock C, it was too difficult because he wasn't strong enough. So, I remodded... Ooh, 79,000 health. That's cool. A nice round even number. But anyways, I remodded him for offense. I tried to put as much offense as possible. Offense, primary. Offense, primary. And, okay, maybe I didn't do offense at all. I don't know. It's all health, health, defense, whatever. F me, then. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, I did increase his damage. His damage was, like, 7,500 before. Now it's 91,17. And his special damage is 82,36. Don't know what it was before. I didn't pay attention, but I'm sh sure it's higher. And it totally helped. It, <laughs> it made the C event so much easier once I did this. So, yeah, Anakin kind of got a boost in power as well. Not really the power rating, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Maybe even a smidge lower because he used to have purple mods. But um, he got power in the sense of offense. <sighs> Anyways, I think that's it. It's not it. I know there's something else, but I can't remember now. I forgot. So, yeah, as much as I can remember, that is all. And until next time, I said see ya.